welcome and thank you for tuning in once again to Paradise Move of the Week. So this week we're going to do a move called Lady on the Moon. Of course, if it's any guys out there, change it to Man on the Moon. I don't mind. But generally, yeah, this move is called Lady on the Moon. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful resting pose. So that's the, that's the nice thing about it is that you can, you know, get into this pose, rest there, catch your breath, and then transition into another move. So let me demonstrate that and then I'll explain. So because it's April, I'm going to get used to this crab rise mat. And there you have Lady on the Moon. So from a regular seating position in your hoop, you're just going to slightly turn the hoop to one side so that you can rest your neck or your shoulder with the hoop right here. You don't want to have your head in the center, okay? Definitely not. So have your head leaning out to the side. Now you can hold onto the hoop with two hands at the top. You'll notice that my two legs, one is bent, really sitting on the hoop. The other one is more like it's hanging. So, I call my bent leg the inside leg and the hanging leg is the outside leg. Now, for pure aesthetic reasons, it does not look very nice to lift the inside leg first, okay? If you're showing everyone your crotch, not that very pretty. So, we're gonna do this in a much nicer way. So, when you lean back, you're going to lift the outside leg and the hanging leg first. You're going to place that foot inside the hoop. Don't place it down too low, okay? You need to leave some room because what we're going to do next is we're going to take that inside leg and we're going to bend it, bring it through to the other side, and we're going to point up. I now have the side of my backbone just resting along the hoop. I have the side of my neck and my head on the hoop and I can let go and feel very comfortable and very balanced. My top ankle is just resting on the hoop. So there you have this pose. Now, you can stylize this also in different ways. You can have both of your feet inside, as you can see here, maybe in a different angle. You can also point your toes for a different style as well. And when you want to get out of that, again, reverse what you did. So we lifted this outside leg up. So now I'm going to bring it down, weave it back underneath. So it's back in the sitting position. And then as I reach for, as I lift up this other foot, I'm going to reach the top of the hoop, just twisting it around so that I'm back into a normal sitting position. I'll demonstrate that one more time and I'll show you on the other side. Just like pole, it's always good to practice these moves both left and right. So once again, now I'm going to turn to the other side. Again, you see my inside leg and my outside leg. I'm going to rest the hoop on my shoulder. Both my hands are here at the top of the hoop. I'm going to lift up my outside leg, placing that into the hoop. Then weave the other leg up. I've got my back on the hoop there. As you can see, nice and comfortable. You can add that styling of the pointing of the toes, and then you can bring that foot back down. Use your hands on the hoop to twist the hoop back around, and you are back in the center. So there you have Lady on the Moon. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Enjoy practicing. Please stay safe, and we'll see you next week for Combo Week. Bye!